Well, hi. This is Jeff, and this is my basic walkthrough of our game, Hex Puzzle Kingdoms. So, uh, you can see on this board or on this like main screen, we've built some other games and some chess games. But from sort of the chess game background, we really wanted to uh, explore some other puzzle elements, and yay, I want to match. Um, explore some other pu puzzle elements and do some kind of cool new things maybe we you know, haven't seen as often. Okay, so uh, essentially this is the all the types of games. There are cash games, so if you get good enough, you can play for a dollar, you know, bet a dollar that you can do better than somebody else. Uh, there's a league over here where the people who win the most cash games get a few bucks, and the people who win the most for fun or Z games, um, you know, get a couple extra Z, which lets them kind of play those. So I'm going to play a practice game for this little demo and walk you through some of the basics of how this game works and... Hopefully you try it out. Check us out on hexpuzzlekingdoms.com or join our Discord. We have little fun story things. If all of you end up getting, like, understanding the rules, we have this, like, little screen system built to really, you know, have more story in it. And we actually had written a little, you know, kingdom story. Um, so if that's something you all want us to actually implement and you don't need those because we're kind of using them for tips right now but if you want more let us know and then here it'll kind of walk through your score if you want to move it along you just tap the screen and it'll zoop it on by all right so this is one of the uh, a very very powerful potential map here right so every time i put a city next to another city watch this the whole value of the piece levels up so you know each square each hex i have on the map i get 15 points if I get two cities together, those double to 30 points a square. And then if I'm smart and I do this triangle, which is one of the power positions in this game of cities, then they all turn to level three. And then you can see in the scorecard, I get 250 points for completing the map. I get, um, you know, first attempt bonus, which means I got all this. I, I didn't have to move pizzas around a bunch. And my city adjacency is 240. So almost as much as completing the map. So a pretty big win there. And then, you know, as uh, this is the beginner round, so it goes a little faster. So also, if I put a city on a natural resource, turns into a castle, it, it'll just, a natural resource is 2x whatever you're on. And then a castle is 2x a city. So um, getting castles is, is one of the ways to really, really climb in league and to do quite well. Um, it's a lot to take in and just like a little demo like this, you know, I don't think it's going to work like that. But, um, but as you play a few rounds, it'll all make sense. It's, it's pretty intuitive, at least to me. I mean, I'm the guy who made it, so, or one of the guys who made it. So maybe that's a bit of a bias there, or it definitely is a bias. But, uh, in any event, let's see how we can complete this last puzzle. And if you ever need help, you can always press this light bulb on the bottom and it'll give you a tip. And it says, oh, you know what, that, that shouldn't go there. That's probably should go here. This should go here, and this will go down here. And there you go. And then that's a uh, that's one of the beginner matches. That only has four relatively easy puzzle sets. Uh, and then if you play the, the cash match, they're a little bit more challenging. We do even have extreme expert puzzle sets that you can try out. And you know, even if you're you know more of a chess fan, you know we have our chess game. But I still think anything where you're challenging your mind, you're solving problems and you're trying to fit things on a board. Oh, that guy actually beat me. Nice job. So there's, there was obviously some more optimal way of completing that puzzle set. Um, I'll do... Let's think. I'll do one cash game to wrap up this little demo. And this will be like a five-minute demo. So that's fine. It'll be like a demo. Sosag is really good. He's one of our top players. So I don't know if I'm going to win, but I'm going to give it my gosh darn best shot here. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm in some Barney Rubble here. All right, yeah, there's no, whoa, what am I doing? Why am I bad? Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, I'm pretty blown, up, blown away. This is going to be... Wow, how is this messing my brain up like this? So again, this is good. It makes you problem solve. Uh... All y'all on that are watching this are probably like, Jeff, don't do it that way, you noob. And this is one of the reasons why people are already better than me at my own game. Oh, it was vertical before. Goodness gracious heavens. Oh, and I should have put the, so you see I missed a triangle, right? So I should have put that city down at the bottom and I would have tripled up my city bonus. So again, 
Um, the time clock makes it a little tricky. So that was a really easy one. But uh, the time clock makes it a little tricky. But, uh, you know, we try. <laughs> Noobs like me still try. It's it's one of the joys of it's one of the joys and very depressing elements of making games, especially puzzle games, is it does not take long for like people just to kick my butt at the at the game I made. I'm like I know the rules better than anybody. I literally made the rules. Or actually, probably not at this point, but um, a lot of people know this game better than me now, and it's uh, an exercise in humility. You know, I think this needs to go down here if I'm being honest. think like this like this like this but honestly like I, you know my sense is that if you don't feel comfortable playing for the cash don't you know or if you have you know some some problems with like you know kind of that risk reward uh cycle but but honestly just play the fun games just have a good time you know this is a great game for just taking five minutes or having in the background especially like the non-cash ones i mean i'm gonna you know I'm gonna give this person a dollar for because I'm terrible, but um, but you know have some fun with it. Enjoy the game. Give us feedback. We have oh that was not that was not wise of me was it? <sighs> Come on. Um, give us feedback. Uh, we have like a little pop up that comes up asking for feedback. You know if you're like me and you're having trouble solving a puzzle like this one here. <laughs> Just try to load as much as you can on the board, and then you can skip by pressing the little arrow button there. Um, I'm just going to rush through, but I think I've, you know, this is all to prove the point that people are already far better than me at my game. And you can see here, you're welcome, Sosag. Oh my gosh, he beat me like a thousand points. That's not, that's not a small amount. Like, uh, every point really counts in this game. We have very narrow wins and losses. So yeah, so that that's the game. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Y'all can, uh, you know, you'll see me on on the on the league. I, I like to play every uh, as often as I can. Uh, I'm the oops, I'm L final boss over here. And yeah, join us. Check out the game. Uh, I hope you have as much fun as uh, playing it as we did making it. And um, yeah, find us on Hex Puzzle Kingdoms. Join the Discord. Give us feedback. You know, do all the social media things. Anyways, everybody, take care. Have a good one. Bye bye.